Hi everybody, Rock Dad here. So we're going to be working on the Titan tonight. The Titan's an awesome machine. Um, it's my Diamond Pacific Titan. And it is awesome. 1800 revolutions per minute. What we have here is some more of the Epidote from Ruby and Kim. It's a beautiful green. It's a lovely night here in Spokane. They brought this back for me from Montana. What we're going to do on this is just polish the face. A little mud on the wheel here. So I'm using 80 grit. And 80 grit is enough to knock it down nice and smooth on one side from what it was rough on the other. So we're going to leave it smooth here and rough there. And we're just going to belt it all the way across. rocking rounded surface okay so we got our first cut there now I got this one that had some kind of more solid less decayed epidote and it looks like it's got some more stuff in there so this one's going to grind a little harder I'm just be nice and gentle and let the wheels do the work And again, same thing. These are just display pieces. We're just going to shine them up so we can kind of see what's going on in the rock. Now earlier, in my earlier video, I made a heart. Here, we're going to do something a little different. This is really good quality epidote. I mean, to get it this nice and this large, pretty unusual for our region. All right. I'm getting it down to where I'm getting that rind off. I'm getting happy with it. That's enough I can work with it. A little spot right there we need to deal with. Alright. You know what? Let's just pick that spot up here. We'll give this one a little bit of a cleaved face. I can always come back and turn it into something later. But, there we go, we got that nice edge on there. So we're going to slide her down to the 100. And it's a difference what a 100 will make versus the 80. Hope everybody likes the channel. Appreciate everybody's patronage. I also have a TikTok out there, Facebook. But guys, I appreciate it. You can see just this piece of epidote's much more decayed. It's much softer. It's easier to work with. Versus this one. This is that beautiful dark forest green. working it on our wheel in that nice full circle rocking motion. 
let's go ahead and take that that edge we were working before and keep that edge. I think this is stable enough to actually do that. And this is just kind of checking the material, seeing what we got to work with, how we want to do it, what we want to do. Real gorgeous stuff. All right, moving it on down. There we go. So Epidote is a crystal. Beautiful stuff. What an amazing piece. I know the light sucks and you can't really see just how awesome this stuff is, but it is pretty cool. So let's move on down. So what's going to be cool about this in just a minute here to adjust said camera. There we go. What's going to be cool about this is we took a rock that started out like this. Brought it into this. This. To this. Let's see if we can get those crystals popping. Now I got a little bit going on my oil saw over here as well. So I want to give it a good rinse. Make sure we got all the debris off there. Nice and slow, back and forth. Keep it moving on the wheel. A little rotation. Listen to my voice, don't fall asleep. All right. I think we're going to have to do a rock counting adventure to this site here at some point. Oh, yeah. Oh, the crystals in this. Holy cow. Look at that. Okay, here we go. That full rock in motion.
absolutely incredible rock. Jared, if you guys haven't checked out Jared at Currently Rock Counting, make sure you go check out Currently Rock Counting. Great site, very informative. He will teach you much more than I could ever hope to. But I'll bet he likes this. Fifty thousand grit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Rock Dad saying, always check your feet. You never know what you're walking on. I will catch you on the flip side. This is Montana Epidote, and it is incredible. By the way, I just figured out a new feature to my phone. I can take a picture while I'm videotaping. Rock Dad, out.